pretty much any vegetable is sauteable. But I'm gonna show you how to saute a couple different vegetables and we're gonna start with Swiss chard. So when it comes to sauteing leafy greens, you wanna take them and tear them down into pieces about this big. And a lot of leafy greens have like a big thick rib in the middle of it, or like chard has one, kale has one. You wanna just rip that out because that's actually much harder than these fragile leaves and it takes forever to cook. So rip out the, the, the middle rib, that like big stem piece and you know compost it, do whatever you need to do with it, but don't really bother with cooking it. So you take your chard and you tear it down into these little pieces like this, because you can actually saute like big pieces of chard, but the problem is then when you try to eat them, they're kind of like flopping all over the place and they're getting like oil everywhere. It's really awkward to eat. So if you break them down into little pieces like this, it's much easier to eat them. So we've got our hot pan right here. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. And because the pan's already hot, you can see that it's already starting to ripple a little bit. So this looks like a lot of chard. And what I'm gonna point out is even though it looks like a lot, these are gonna cook down to nothing. So this is a whole bunch of chard, literally one of those big bunches that sits like almost two feet tall. You pulled out the rib, tore them into little pieces. It looks like a lot, but literally they're gonna cook down to like less than a quarter cup. That's just the nature of greens. Like spinach does it, kale kind of does it too. But you're gonna see how much is left when we're done cooking this. So we've got our hot oil, it's shimmering. We're going to lower the heat a little bit. We're gonna have it at about uh, three, four or five, depending on your stove, because these are really delicate. We don't wanna overcook them too quickly. We're gonna to toss this in. Oop. And they're gonna to start to cook really quickly. And if you have a lot of greens, what you can do is you can put in half into the pan and then take it out, or sorry, you can put half into the pan and then as they wilt down, like add a little bit more and add a little bit more. But ideally you can add as much as you can at the same time because the ones you add in the beginning are gonna cook really quickly. And then as you're adding stuff like, you know, more and more greens, like the ones that you added first are gonna overcook. What we're gonna do is just like turn this slowly. And you can see it's actually already starting to cook come back. You can see the ones that are touching the pan are already like wilting very quickly. And already this is like reduced in size by quite a bit. So we've got it down and like now it's actually reduced in size by half. It's kind of amazing how quickly it cooks down. We're going to turn it. See like these guys are cooking really quickly. And turn it over. Keep turning it. Grab, make sure you grab the ones on the bottom of the pan and then just keep moving them around gently. You don't want to smash them. But the more you move them, you'll notice that they get smaller and smaller and smaller and they take up less space in the pan. So a lot of people say to cook these in a really big pan because there's a lot of greens, but the problem is that by the time you're done cooking them, you've got this big frying pan and the greens only take up this much space once they're completely cooked. It's kind of ridiculous. It actually increases the chances of them burning in a really big pan because they're kind of scattered hither and thither like around the pan. At least in a smaller pan like this, it may be like a little more awkward at first, but ultimately they heat and cook more efficiently because it's a smaller space to cook them in. Now, I mean, look how much mass we've lost already. Like this is decreased by probably two thirds already. I'm gonna keep cooking them, I'm gonna keep turning them. And you'll notice we haven't salted them yet, right? Like I said earlier, soft vegetables, you do not wanna salt them, salt them early on because they will spit out all of their liquid and they will get really soggy. So these have not been salted yet. We're not gonna salt them till the very end. And we're actually gonna season these with soy sauce. And soy sauce is a salty liquid. So just because it's a liquid doesn't mean it gets a salty pass and you can add soy sauce early because it's a fail. Any liquid with a lot of salt in it, like soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce, like needs to be added at the very end because that salt will make your vegetables limp and lifeless. Alrighty, keep going. These are looking really good. They're getting really, they're losing a lot of space here or they're losing a lot of size. They're looking good. Now you know they're done when they're not like limp and lifeless. They've still got a little bit of like shape to them, but they're, they're still cooked down quite a bit. Alrighty, I'll let them sit for a second because I've still got some hard leaves here. We're gonna actually push those down to the bottom so they cook quickly. And literally as soon as they come in contact with the pan, they, they wilt almost immediately. 
Alrighty. So these are almost done. They're looking really good. And you can see how quickly these cook, right? Like there's been no like pause. There's been no like clock wipe while we like try to cut through extra time that it takes to cook. Like these happen really fast. I want you to know how quickly they cook because you cannot put these in a pan and walk away. Like it, they cook so quickly that like if you were to do that, even if you were just to like go try and find your phone in the other room and come back, like the ones on the bottom would be like stuck to the pan and leaves will stick very quickly and you can't really get them off. Like once they stick, they burn and you have to like scrape them off and they start to get that charred smell. It's not very tasty. Alrighty, these are looking good. So these are almost done. I don't want to cook them too much longer because I don't want them to get limp. I like them with a little bit of body still so that they still have a little bit of like shape to them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off the heat because they're going to continue to cook just because the pan is hot and carry over cooking. What we're going to do now is season them. I'm going to add just a little bit of soy sauce, just a little. You don't need a lot. You don't need like soy soup, just a little bit. And you're going to give them a good toss with the soy sauce. There you go. And then we're going to add a little bit of my favorite vinegar, which is balsamic vinegar. Like I said, we've used soy sauce. We don't need any additional sauce. Like that will make them more than salty enough. Uh, just a little bit of balsamico. Come on. Just a little. Don't need very much. Mm, that's really good. Wow, that's really good vinegar. Mm. I'm going to give them another good stir. And you can see there's not a lot of liquid on the bottom of the pan. Like I didn't pour a bunch of liquid in here. It's just like, it's just enough to cover the leaves, just enough to coat them. You can see here like they're cooked, but they've still got a little bit of shape to them. Like they're not super limp. Like you can see some of the ones, you'll always end up with a couple that are like super limp, like that guy. Like this is still fine. Uh, but I like them. I like them to have a little bit more body than that. I prefer them more along, like you know, these lines where they've still got like some a little bit of life left in them. Alrighty, so we've got them seasoned, and we're I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Boink. There you go. And we're going to just move them around. Make sure they all get coated evenly with pepper. Oop! It's trying to escape. Now we're going to plate them. It's going to drop them onto the plate. And you can see that they still have some mass to them, right? Like these are still beautiful. They still have color. They haven't been cooked until they're like gray. They're still very green and very red. Like they still look vibrant and beautiful. They still look like a vegetable. Um, they still have some texture to them because they have a little bit of life to them. They haven't been cooked down to like a limp, lifeless mess. And I think what I like most about them is uh, they still just, like, they take up a good amount of space on the plate, right? Like if you were to squish this all into a handful, it would be less than a quarter cup. But because they are not super limp, they actually still have a little bit of loft. They have a little bit of height, right? So they're not just like laying flat on the plate. They actually look really nice. You know, and they can be kind of arranged a little bit to get to give them like a little bit more height on the plate for styling purposes as opposed to just being like in a flat mound. And they look really good. You could actually, like you can serve them like this on a plate or one of my favorite ways to serve like meat is I could take like, like a steak cut, like a filet mignon, a chicken breast or whatever, and just put it on top of this. Like just like use this as the bed and kind of like bring them all in so they're a little bit more neat. And then if you want, you could even pour a little bit of sauce over the top, or you could just serve it straight like that. And then you clean up the plate, you clean up all these guys around here with a paper towel, like we do in restaurants. And then you have a beautifully plated like meal, like it's gorgeous. So we're gonna try this guy. Let me grab a fork. And let's see how they taste. Holy sh those are really good. See, this is a great example of why greens and why all vegetables should not be like beaten into submission with like really flavorful ingredients. Like they only need like a hint of flavorful ingredients. They don't need to be covered in soy sauce, covered in cheese, covered in vinegar. Like this is just like maybe a teaspoon of vinegar, maybe a teaspoon of soy sauce mixed into a whole bunch of greens with a little pepper and they're incredible. They're really good.